Hola amigos y amigas, welcome back to our third video for Women's History Month. So, Women's History Month is a month to highlight and celebrate the contributions of women to events in history, our society, and to the world. So, today we are reading about the one and only Myra Telkes, and I'm so excited about it because she is a woman scientist and that is my dream job. So, let's just get right into it. In the 1940s, in the USA, Hungarian inventor and scientist Myra Telkes developed technology using one of the world's brightest planet-saving ideas, solar energy. This had been Myra's dream since her teenage years when she read a book about the future of power. She was intrigued by a new scientific idea. Could technology be invented to turn the sun's energy into power for our homes, travel, and everyday lives? Scientists were interested in this idea because solar energy is free and renewable. Renewable energy comes from sources that won't run out, like the sun, waves, and wind. Using renewables means we can use fewer polluting fossil fuels to make energy. What are fossil fuels? Well, fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas are burned to make energy. The pollution this releases is causing the planet to heat up. This is known as global warming. Today, we know this is changing our weather and affecting wildlife. Countries are now urgently working towards a future of renewable energy. So at the time, there had been very few experiments into solar energy. Nobody had managed to invent a system that could transform our everyday lives. And Myra changed that. She became known as the Sun Queen for her solar-powered ideas. Oh, Myra created a team for her new invention. And her team consisted of Eleanor Raymond, an architect, and Amelia Peabody, a funder. Two powerful and very intelligent woman. Her invention was called the Dover Sun House, and it was the first of its kind, built in 1948. The Dover Sun House was heated entirely using solar technology. At the time, scientists knew that fossil fuels would run out one day, and were concerned about how soon that would happen. It was also a period when many ordinary people struggled to afford to heat their homes. All this led to Myra's pioneering vision for a home of the future. So this is how the Dover Sun House worked. Specifically designed, huge windows absorbed warmth from the sun. Then warm air is blown by fans into metal drums filled with a special type of salt. When warmed, the salt inside the drums melted, which meant it was storing the heat from the environment. Now in cooler weather, the salt hardened and released its sword heat into the house, so it could warm it up. Myra's experiment showed that solar technology had huge potential. This was an important step towards using environmentally friendly sources of energy. Scientists have developed Myra's ideas over the years, and today solar energy is the fastest growing renewable clean energy source around the globe. But the search for ways to make solar technology affordable for as many as homes as possible continues today. Now that was a little insight into Myra Telke's amazing life as an inventor and a scientist. Now there's a lot we can learn from her. As she was a woman in science at the time where you didn't see very many women in science because many people thought that women weren't smart enough or capable enough to work in engineering and technology and science fields. But of course we are and anybody is. So Myra's an inspiration. If you find something interesting and you have a passion that you can pursue those ideas no matter what you look like. All right, amiguitos, that's the end of our third Women's History Month story, and we'll see you next week for the last one. Bye!